hello everyone so as you can see I have quite a mess over here these are lithium-ion C18650 cells that are charging initially uh, this guy come in with these batteries these are some Leica batteries that are used for some GPS units they do power them they have like four cells in inside um, let me see if I can get that out yeah. Yeah, so they have four cells. They have these tiny BMS. I think it's rated for up to 15 amps. I'm not really sure uh, because it says here 5 amps. I don't know if that's some kind of fuse or something. And here it says 15 amps, so probably it's rated for 15 amps, I assume. So, yeah, we have these BMSs. This one is good. I have this all so this green one is also good these ones are broken so the idea here is that I'm gonna like just shove a BMS in there just like that and it has three pins uh, pack minus pack minus and pack plus and DQ I assume this because I've looked at uh, some IC on a uh, this, this IC is there this year I assume it's a temperature thing I'm not really sure. So this is a 2S, 2S uh, BMS. And we have here uh, an arrangement of uh, 2P2S or 2S2P, whatever you say. So the plan here is to put this BMS, uh, connect a bunch of wires from these uh, B minus B plus and BM, which is the middle, the middle uh, connection. And then close the housing just like that. Use the housings. So leave it so it can go inside the unit like normal and just have a wire hanging out. Hanging out and that should go to some a bunch of cells which are not going to be just four. Now these ones I measured they were like at two. And I've made an arrangement. I've got these chargers, some are type C chargers, some are 1 amp, some are 3 amps, and these ones right here are 3 amps, this one is also 3 amps, I just hacked some type C in here a long time ago, you might, I don't might have seen one of these in my videos, these ones are the famous ones with protection circuit, the TP4056 I believe, so yeah, I got this charging using this, uh, Rook charger that is 5 amps, so it will give it will be able to provide 3 amps for this one. I'm not sure if the cells are going to handle that or not, but yeah, I don't know. I'll just leave them there until they charge, uh, and then I'm gonna make an arrangement of like uh, 2S uh, 6P or something or 8P. I'm not really sure yet, and connect a bunch of wire And as I said, uh, the plan is to make some wires going to the BMS to the house inside the housing and the housing would go inside the unit and the battery will be left out. So that's the whole idea to give the guy a, like a longer uh, use of his battery for his work. He's soon doing like these kind of civil engineering stuff for like uh, Related to taking measures and uh, coordinates using GPS and whatnot. So, here you go, guys. This is an update of what I've been doing, uh, what I talked about in the previous video. And as you can see, I found some good cells. Uh, they had a uh, roughly a good voltage on them. So, I've charged them using the circuits that I had. Uh, this is uh, one of the circuits that says charging. Uh, circuit uses type C here 5 volts and then it gives you 4.2 volts at the output so you can charge your lithium-ion batteries So yeah, as you can see I found some uh, these are like six here in parallel I've put them in parallel using those wires as you can see This is a negative sign and it's a positive side and we're gonna put them in series with other is another six I still haven't soldered the wires to these so yeah, that's what's up and so as I said previously, the plan is to connect these two in series and then connect them, connect them to one of these circuits that is working. Mm, 
like you see on this one it has a B B minus over here B plus and then BM which is the middle uh, connection yeah and it'll give you a pack plus and a pack minus and a DQ there is some kind of temperature stuff yeah so that's what's up for now and I'll do another update whenever I finish this thing because I can't film while I'm doing it uh, since I only got two hands this is one and the one holding the phone this is a phone by the way one plus 3G that I'm filming with and yeah that's all about it for now hello everyone again so sorry for this mess but it's how it is so where we are we've uh, built our pack as you can see these are uh, this is a uh, 2s 6p or 6p 2s whatever so we have six uh, cells in parallel with uh, two in series two of those in series so as you can uh, see this is the middle point and here we have our positive on the top and the bottom one is our negative and we're using some speaker wires to connect this I've wrapped it all with this uh, kind of uh, tape this, this tape right here and now I'm preparing the the housing of the original battery uh, yeah so I've put the board in there with some hot glue stuck in there and soldered the uh, terminals over here these are for uh, pack plus temperature and pack minus over here and then I'm gonna solder the three terminals of the battery or the three wires to B plus by M and B minus and then I'm gonna close all that and just have the wire hanging out from here from here like so in order to be able to connect it to the uh, GPS unit the like uh, 10 of the other guy that wants this here we are guys uh, we've finished this thing so we have uh, the pack as I showed previously and now the wires are inside and the housing is closed here are its terminals well, you can see it's very light because it only has the circuitry this thing this thing inside with the wires connected to it from the inside and this is going to hang it out from here and we're getting our uh, voltage uh, our very good voltage I'm not sure if I can do that one handed let me give it a try so yeah Uh, we're gonna do something like this and then something like this and then something like yay and we're getting our uh, 8.38 volts which indicates that the cells are uh, charged up mm, around 4.2 for each uh, series pack which is good and that's what this is so instead of having only one of these guys with four cells like so now we're having like 12 cells or we're having like triple the power yeah and so this is triple the power that this used to have hopefully these cells are good enough so they can stand some long sessions of uh, work if not we'll uh, gonna have to get some brand new ones like 3000 milliamps or 2600 milliamp brand new ones which are a bit expensive and we're gonna need also some uh, spot welding spot welder to have these connections the th uh, this was one of, uh, one of the main reasons why i opted for older batteries well, firstly because they're cheap and second because of these connections since these ones already come with uh, this solder to them and these are just easy you can just scratch them a bit or sand them a little bit and you can solder to them easily without damaging the cells so yeah that's one of the reasons but if didn't didn't if this didn't work out so well 
We're gonna have to get brand new cells and check someone who has a spot welder to do the welds for us. And then we can uh, go from there. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, hopefully if this has been enjoyable for you to watch. And thank you for uh, sticking to the end. Bye for now.